Hey guys, welcome to another update on where the Rust experimental branch has been going. In the past weeks and months, developers of Rust have been hard at work turning Rust from a fantastic MMO sandbox to a game that has the potential to rewrite the very history of gaming. Okay, maybe I'm getting a little overexcited, but the new Rust is awesome. So here's what's new. The first of the environmental changes includes procedural maps. For those of you who didn't know, a procedural map is generated not based on an image like conventional maps, but using maths and numbers. This allows each server to have a different map based on a certain set of variables, meaning that when this new awesome version of Rust is released on community servers, each one you join will be a completely different world. Finally, there are a couple of nice new additions to the user interface. One of these is the new graphics menu. If you hit F2 on your keyboard, you can adjust your graphics settings while looking directly at your game. This means no more jumping from options to game to options to game to check that all your settings are just right. Now setting up your graphics is a one-stop occasion that just takes a few seconds. And finally, F3 toggles the third person view. Before, Rust felt very much like one big, uninhabitable wasteland of an island. Locating yourself on the map was near impossible when you first started, and even if you did know where you were going, everything looked so much the same that you could get lost just walking to the outhouse and back. Well, not anymore. The use of generated terrains means that we have hills, mountains, beaches, lakes, forests and regions which are clearly distinct from one another. No doubt these different environments will impact player stats in the future in all kinds of different ways. In addition to all of the new changes to land, various biomes and just general views that will take your breath away, we now have the ability to swim. I mean, okay, maybe swimming itself is boring, but this is rust. Swimming could mean boats. Boats could mean boathouses. Boats and boathouses mean all-out naval warfare rust style. That cannot be a bad thing. Anyway, all of these environmental changes are great. The game looks fantastic, but what about new items? As we know, the whole game is being reworked from the ground up, so when the dev branch came out, we had almost no items. Now we have a bear trap that mm, doesn't do anything. Oh, I'm joking, aside from the bear trap, which is still a work in progress, by default the player is given a bolt rifle, which has recently been given iron sights, and is a wonderfully fun and useful tool in Rust. Aside from the obvious necessity of owning a rifle to hunt down disorientated naked 12 year olds, graphically, animation wise, and just everything that has been put into this rifle is smooth and polished. This is the kind of detail and attention that I would be happy to see in a triple A RPG game, but this is an MMO. It's like, what the hell is going on here? The other weapons available are a pistol, which is much like the bear trap, kind of useless right now, um, a hatchet of course, and the building hammer. Well I don't think the building hammer really is a weapon, but if it was it would be the only weapon I'd ever use. You actually use the hammer to build and fix building items such as foundations and walls. Talking of walls and foundations, foundations can now be destroyed. In some not so minor notes, the land of rust has been made more beautiful by the addition of flowers, which I know for a fact is very pleasing to the female demographics. Oh, and I forgot to mention, wolves are now the scariest motherfuckers you've seen. Back to the topic at hand. The day and night system that we saw before is still in effect. However, if you're in a different part of the map to someone else, it very often seems like their daytime is your nighttime. We do need some actual verification for this though. Other items include human meat. It's nice to know that human meat comes directly after chicken on Gary Newman's personal menu. Bone fragments, rifle bullets, foundations and walls as previously mentioned, and a bow and arrows. 
As you can see, there are still a lot of items missing and the game isn't by any means complete yet. However, with this level of stuff, an hour on a developmental server will be an hour that leaves you with a cheeky little grin on your face. Rust now has a metabolism system. Now players have to take care of their hunger, their thirst, their weight and their height. This is another feature which isn't fully implemented yet, so I'm not going to hazard any guesses at what exactly the devs want to do with it, but I'm sure it's something equally as fantastic as all the new stuff we've already seen. So, what kind of things can we expect from these new worlds? When it comes to combat, the best way to win is going to be with a bolt rifle, until some more items come along. Right now, a bolt rifle delivers a one-hit kill, devastating your opponents and snatching the breath from any innocent bystanders. When you've managed to kill them, a green text appears, they lag around for a bit while leaving behind a curled up cadaver for you to loot. Sleeping bags are also back. This is doubly as useful now that the world is about a million times bigger than it was before. Currently, each time you respawn is with a sleeping bag, so if you do die, you can just place another sleeping bag and continue trying to kill those pesky raiders. In other news, if you don't keep an eye on your chicken while it's being cooked, you can now burn it, ending a successful day hunting your favourite chicken flavoured animals with woe and misery. If you haven't already tried out the developmental branch of Rust, you definitely should. The game is still a steal at $14.99 in the UK and really looks like it's going to end up as the next big online gaming title. What we've seen so far from Face Punch Studios has blown away all previous expectations. We can't wait to see what the developers will do next. That's all from this update. I've been Prue, you've been awesome, and thanks for watching.